The title of the article read, A Russian oligarch spends $9,000 on sneakers to support Trump. Sounds sketchy, but I actually came from Ukraine. Hell yeah, truckers. Don't deliver my damn thing. Truckers, do you actually think you're irreplaceable? Like, this is capitalist America. You think that corporations are going to sit idly by while you boycott New York and affect their bottom line? <laughs> no way. They will always find somebody else to do your job if you won't do it. Maybe even an immigrant. Oh, no. So go ahead and protest. There's always somebody else waiting in the wings for your job. Yes, I know you have not seen this. This man went off on a mainstream media after they spent one day spewing lies about him. According to this article, Maga Minia, a Russian businessman buys a pair of autographed Trump sneakers for 9K at auctions while other least limited edition kicks for $45,000 on eBay. Okay, I believe you've seen this. From the look of things, this man is not even from Russia. He's from Ukraine. He did the video to actually clarify this, to debunk all these lies. I don't know why they try to paint this kind of image of Russia to him. So, bought a pair of sneakers. These sneakers. And apparently, they made me a Russian oligarch overnight. Here's how. Guys, I'm a sneakerhead. I'm also a U.S. Army veteran. And yes, I am a Republican. The title of the article read, A Russian oligarch spends $9,000 on sneakers to support Trump. Sounds sketchy, but I actually came from Ukraine. At the time, it was part of the Soviet Union. I came here at the age of 13 as a refugee, but my dad had $4 in his pocket. I busted my ass working every dirty job under the sun to get where I am today in order to be able to afford to buy these $9,000 pair of collectible sneakers. But I guess the headline of Russian refugee, Ukrainian refugee, or perhaps maybe just a man, that would not get as many clicks as a Russian oligarch. I even saw a tweet from a Ukrainian patriot that said, a Russian shady watch dealer uh, bought $9,000 pair of sneakers as a way to move money to Russia somehow. Of course, I kindly asked the author to uh, check the fact that um, my own charity raised over a quarter million dollars of aid to Ukraine since that war has started before putting out accusations of stupid tweets, if you will. I wasn't trying to make a political statement by buying these shoes. Of course, the internet blew up. I'm getting comments and messages from on IG from people saying, Yes, I just appreciate this man, the way he's outspoken about this. I'm a Republican and supporting Trump by buying this is not a problem. The mainstream media put out a lot of articles. I don't know if this was just for clickbait or what exactly very concerning. The internet blew up. I'm getting comments and messages from on IG from people saying, oh, I am no longer following you or I'm unfollowing you because you are a Trump supporter and I'm no longer doing business with you. It's funny, here I am, maybe I'm silly. I thought that people done business with Luxury Bazaar because we've been in business for 21 years because of trust, because of personalized customer service that we provide in great pricing. But I guess I was wrong. You know what sags me the most about this whole situation is that over something as stupid as a pair of sneakers, it showed me so clearly once again on just how divided our country is. With that said, guys, there's not a mean tweet in the world. There's not an IG post. There's not a news article that's going to stop me from being who I am. And that is a patriot of this country, a country that once let in a 13-year-old immigrant and gave me the opportunity to be where I am today. And I'm going to be thankful for that for the rest of my life. You want to hate me for wanting this country to be great again? Go ahead and judge the sneakerhead. But no matter what, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. May sound cliche, but that's how I feel. Thank you, and God bless America. Yes, this is actually funny. Because you support Trump, someone rushed into your inbox to say, I will not more buy from you. I will not do business with you. You know, 
It is insane. I don't get the point why people cannot coexist. So belonging to one party will cause you not to do business with another person. If that be the case, then don't do. So what was your winning bid? Then let's see the signature. All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Yo, check out these Trump ones. Four hundred dollar retail on these. Check these out. Check the box too. It says Trump, friends and family. Then when you open it, it comes with like a gold wrapping paper. Check these. Trump on Saturday launched a sneaker line a day after he and his companies were ordered by a judge to pay $355 million in his New York civil fraud trial. The former president unveiled Trump's sneaker at SneakerCon in Philadelphia. He placed a pair of gold sneakers which a new website has listed for $399 and named the Never Surrender High Top sneaker on the podium as his pool. And Libra Media are freaking out about the Some say he want to raise money for this that some say Trump want to capture young voters, which I agree with this. If you take a look at young people, they like this. I think this is a new strategy that he has put forward that nobody even thought that would happen. It is important we take an exclusive look. Here, what do you think about that? Uh, I love it. I love he's trying to get in touch with the youth. Um, he's trying to get some young voters. I personally support him. You guys vote in the 2020 election? Yes. Who did you vote for? I actually voted for Donald Trump in the 2020 election. You did? So, so he could get you back again? He could. He could. Former President Trump uh, came here to talk to folks. What do you think about the fact that he came here to talk to folks here today? Honestly, mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a waste of time. Why? Um, this is not a political event, um, and this is not a political arena. And sometimes folks get caught up in the moment and don't understand the bigger picture. And I think for someone who's running for president, they need to be a little more serious about what the issues are and what it is that we're trying to accomplish. Before heading to Michigan, Trump was in Philadelphia at SneakerCon promoting new sneakers. Bold, gold, and tough is exactly how his $399 a pair kicks aptly named the Never Surrender High Top. They're being described as uh, on that new website right now, and they sold out fast last night as Trump continues to monopolize off merchandise related to his legal woes. Why people should wear that? Black people should not wear that. <laughs> I'm serious when I say if I catch a single member of the black race, of the African American race, in the Trump ones on the street, I'm jumping you. I'm jumping you, and I don't even think I'm going to win the fight. Ultimately, I'm a small guy. I don't fight. Like, I don't even fight like that. The only time I was ever in a fight in school was because somebody stole the Harry Potter wand I made in. Hey, folks, you are industrial revolution. Would, or anyone would describe Davos as protecting liberal democracy. And elites tell us that open borders and even illegal immigration are okay. And divided by class. My spirit. Are you sure? That I think, I think this community. is Donald Trump's fault. Wait, wait. Watch this. Water there. I hate my job. Yeah.